Hey there guys and today we're going to be learning how to make particles like this in Kodoo. So these are particles to the node, um, nothing too special. Actually, we're going to go through how to make something like this in this tutorial. So yeah, let's go right into what we need to do. So yeah, this is it and I'm going to make a new scene. I'm going to do everything I just did here again. So that I'll show you the step by step process to do it. So yeah, we're gonna make another node and it's gonna be a sprite or um, I can just easily drag in I can just easily drag in this guy um, and position it somewhere there in the scene yeah, I think that will be nice just so that we can preview what we're gonna be doing So we're gonna add another node again by hitting Ctrl A and click on the particle to the node so that's the node we're going to be using and for, for our particles and I'll, I just wanted to set something which is show behind parent and I'm going to show you why I'm going to set this to true in just a second so as you can see here our, our particle study node is giving us an error and it says the material to the proce to process the particle is not assigned so no behavior is imprinted what we're gonna do is we're gonna do just what it says. Over here, over here, the way you see process material, we're gonna make a new material which is gonna be a new particles material. As you can see, um, it will bring out some dots there. Just uh, this, this is just like a default particle that will just be emitted. And if you wanna go ahead with these dots, you can go ahead and edit all these values on your own with the dot. But I'm not going to be using the dots because I want to get exactly something like this, hopefully. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and go over to textures. Um, it's not going to be under here anyway. It's not going to be under the process material. It's going to be separate. Um, under textures, we're going to assign a texture. So we're going to load this texture file up. As usual, this file will be available on GitHub. And yeah, you, go, you can go over there and check it out for yourself. Okay, so we're done with that and this particle is kind of big But anyways, we're gonna be editing that very soon So um, Why I said you should check this show behind parents here um, We're gonna open this up so that you see show behind parent why I say you should check it is because when um, Our particles are here like this. It won't show as if it's an exhaust because we want to get that kind of exhaust stuff so what we're going to do is we're going to check show behind parent so it's going to like give you that sensation that is coming out from the exhaust it might not look so great now but we're going to pick that up later so here we see time if you want your lifetime to be longer you can just set this to any value of your choice and as you can see it's going to go farther like that but in this case i'm going to actually use a point eight because we don't want our um yeah, sorry, it shows an 8, um, I said point 0.8 Yeah, so we're, we're gonna be using it like this so that our particles won't be too long and stuff Yeah, and the amounts, we're gonna change that later and all this stuff Um, we're gonna leave all these other ones like that, default settings And over here, drawing, we're gonna uncheck this local co coordinates But we're gonna uncheck it later, as I said so we're going to do that later and I just want to show you why um, Yeah, we'll go to the process material and we're going to go into what we need to do So here we see time is like the lifetime Here we see um, lifetime randomness It's going to randomize the lifetime of um, of our particles So that it's, it's a kind of be random or something like that So yeah, as you can see um, not all of them are disappearing at the same time and that's what the lifetime randomness does so that's what you um, do and we'll go over down here just so that we can start seeing our prog progress early so we'll go down here to scale and we're going to go over to scale um, scale curve new curve texture and we're going to open this up when we click it we click this and this something like this should open up for us so this is actually a graph as you can see here the, these are um, points that you can move so if you move this down 
is going to reduce the um, the scale of your particle according to the time you set for example at zero um, that means at, at the start of the particle when the particle just comes out to be at 0 0.5 scale and over time um, the next one second is going to get to its full scale so we're going to move these two down because our particles look too big yeah we're going to move them down like this and yeah i think that should be nice from there we're going to go again to um, where is it initial velocity so this is going to set the speed kind of we can set this to like a 200 or so as you can see it's going to be shooting to the left i'll be i think to the right yeah so the reason why this is is if we have not set the direction yet we'll go over to direction you're going to see x is one and the y and z is zero just forget about the z now so we're going to be focusing on only x and y this is like your vector 2 dot normalized um something like that um if we set this to a minus one it's going to shoot to the left so this is how the particles are going to be moving to the left if we set it to a minus one so in this case we're going to set it to a zero because we want our particles to be moving down and we're going to set the y to a one so that to give us that um, down movement, just your normal stuff, um, especially when it comes to if you really understand how it works with code, it will be easy for you here. So here is this spread. As you can see, our particles are spreading too far. Well, if you like it like this, um, you can go on. And But if you don't, like me, um, we're going to give it like a 10. So this is nicer, it really gives it that nice effect there. This stuff is looking kind of scanty, so sorry, I'm gonna check it again. Yeah, so we're gonna be, give it like a, yeah, an amount of like 20, and that feels everywhere up. Yeah, this is nice, really nice. Actually, we're gonna move this node up here so that it's like the exhaust, exhaust of it. And yeah, we can randomize the velocity. Um, yeah, it's going to like randomize it as it's coming out, the velocity, blah blah blah, all that stuff. So, the color, we're going to change this, but we're not going to be changing it yet. Anyways, we're going to do that, we'll go over to color ramp, new gradient texture, and as you can, as, like, as you can see here, our exhaust is having like a black outlet um, just when it comes out and it's kind of gets brighter then fades off at the end so how we're going to do that here is we're going to click this gradient texture just to make a new gradient texture new gradient and as you can see it gives it by default black to um, white in this case we're going to add a new one in the middle here by just clicking the middle and we go over here and click this um, try, try to get the middle there yeah we have to I think we have to double click that and we'll give it something like yeah I think something dark so I think something like this will do then over here where it comes to the white okay we just place it back where it's the white and we're going to just double click that and we're going to go to the alpha and reduce the alpha to zero so at this point in time, it's going to reduce the alpha to zero, making it have that disappear sensation before it finally goes off. So yeah, we're very close to our um, our finish. So this is how easy particle study works. Actually, this actually took me a lot of time to understand how it works and all that stuff, but it's kind of easy to implement. Okay, um, I think that should be all. Here is the angular velocity. We're going to be changing the angular velocity. As you can see, it's moving um, just the way the sprite is, and we're going to make it like rotate, um, yeah, with any velocity we choose. So here, here where you choose C velocity, we're going to just check this out, um, drag it up. As you can see, it's kind of spinning. So that's what we want. We can randomize this also, and. We can have a velocity curve so we're going to add a velocity curve 
or is it new curve texture I'm gonna add it and just have the same um, the same concepts here at the beginning we want it to come out fast and at the ending we want okay sorry at the beginning we want it to come out fast and at the ending it kind of slows down to the end yeah that's nice I think we're we're getting to our final finish so um, yeah I think that should be it I'm gonna save this guy um, let's see let's just call this two for now well, um, I think the particles look too small um, they, they are not looking plenty so I think we're going to make this like a 30 so that they can pull the space up there and over here where we have our speed I think they are too slow so we'll make this about a 300 and yeah I think that's nice I think we have exactly what we have here I don't know how I just did that but <laughs> I think we have exactly what we have here anyways even if it's not exactly we have something similar and we don't have our any movement script or anything so we're just gonna give it the script of our first guy so this is just basically um, rotation and movement and all that stuff I'm not gonna bore you with that this is a really happy moment so yeah that's it I'm gonna run this okay sorry I made a mistake I'm gonna run this scene so that I'm gonna just show you that this particular one is gonna run the scene and we're gonna check it out nicely okay yeah one problem it's not having um, it's not like the particle is rotating with our player which is not nice and that's what the local coordinates do when it's checked it's going to rotate like this but when we go over here to particle 2d and we uncheck where is it? Um, and we uncheck the where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, drawing yeah, in drawing. When we uncheck this local coordinates, we're gonna run the scene again. And hopefully, yeah, you're gonna see that it kind of has it. It looks better now. So yeah, that's all for this um, particle study tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. And I just wanted to tell you guys that at 1k subs, we're doing a face reveal. Yeah. <laughs> and we're, yeah, we're going to do a face reveal at 1k subs. As usual, this project will be available on GitHub, so you can go over there and download it. Link will be in the description. Um, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section or go on my Discord. I'll be happy to help you there. As usual, see you next time and thank you once again.